Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks of Geeks. The problem which we are going to see today is to find a fixed point in a given array. So the problem statement is that you will be given an array of n distinct integers sorted in ascending order and you have to write a function that returns a fixed point in the array if there is any fixed point otherwise it should return minus 1. So first of all what is a fixed point? So a fixed point in an array is an index i such that element at index i is equal to i. So uh, let's look at a uh, few examples. So here we are given this array starting from minus 10 to 7. Uh, note that uh, in the problem statement itself, we are saying that uh, array should have n distinct integers. So they, you cannot have repeating integers. Uh, plus they should be sorted in ascending order which means that uh, the smallest element should be coming first uh, and uh, the biggest element should be in the end so it should be sorted from smallest element to the largest element so now uh, let's look at the uh, fixed point so as we discussed that a uh, fixed point is basically an index i so that element at index i is equal to i so in this given array, uh, we basically have the index 0 here. So index starts from 0, then 1, 2, and 3, and then 4. So uh, you can see that uh, the element at index 3 is 3. So uh, 3 is basically the uh, fixed point. Uh, for this array, uh, the element 0 is at index 0. So 0 becomes its fixed point. Now in this third example, uh, there isn't any fixed point. So we just return minus 1. Uh, also, uh, the uh, integers in the array can be negative. Uh, so uh, as you can see that uh, in this uh, first example and also the third example, there are uh, negative integers. Okay, so uh, let's look at uh, the first method to solve this problem. So the first method is basically the linear search. A linear search for index i. Uh, what we do is we basically search for index i such that element at index i uh, is equal to i and we return the first uh, occurrence of any index. So let's look at the uh, driver function here. So in this driver function, we have the array here. Uh, then we have the size of that array. Uh, then uh, we are basically calling linear search function, which takes as an argument the array and its size. So now let's get to the crux of the algorithm. So here uh, you have this linear uh, search function, uh, which have the arguments array and that size. So you basically uh, run a for loop iterating over all the elements and for each element you basically check that uh, if uh, array of i is equal to equal to i then you just return the i so the loop breaks at the uh, first occurrence of a fixed point and it uh, and it returns the fixed point if uh, this loop uh, completes its execution and uh, it doesn't return anything then i uh, will basically return minus 1 saying that uh, there is no fixed point in the array so the time complexity of this solution is order of n uh, because we are iterating over the array elements at least once. Uh, so in the worst case, we'll be iterating over the whole of the array and uh, even then we will not be able to find the uh, fixed point. So that's why the time complexity is order of n. Uh, let's look at a, a better method. So uh, the better method is to uh, use a binary search. So in this binary search, uh, we will uh, first check whether the middle element is a fixed point or not. Uh, if uh, it is a fixed point, then we just return it and we are done. But if uh, it is not, uh, then we uh, check uh, the index of the middle element if it is greater than the value at that index. So if the uh, index is greater, then the fixed point uh, uh, will lie on the right hand side of the uh, middle point uh, obviously if there is an fixed point so if there exists a fixed point 
uh, then it will uh, lie on the right hand side if the index is not greater then the fixed point might lie on the left side so if again if a fixed point exists then it has to lie on the left side so uh, doing just a, a simple check uh, uh, by a simple check of the index of the middle element uh, with the uh, value of that middle element uh, we can perform the binary search okay so let's look at the uh, code so we have the same driver function here uh, with the uh, same statements uh, we have just changed the name from linear search to binary search uh, in the arguments we are passing the array and as uh, as uh, we do in the uh, in the divide and conquer paradigm uh, we are passing the uh, low and a high value uh, which will be updated in the subsequent recursive calls so let's look at the binary search function so here is the binary search function so as i said it takes the argument as uh, it takes as an argument the array and the uh, low index and the high index so it does the sanity check if high is greater than low if that's the case it just returns minus one if that's not the case uh, then it executes this uh, block of code inside the if condition uh, where it firstly calculates the mid value this is basically low plus high by two so it will give us the uh, middle index uh, then uh, as discussed in the algorithm we check the value of we compare the value of mid with the uh, uh, element at index mid so if uh, both of these are equal then we just return mid and we are done we have found our uh, fixed point but if that's not the case and uh, mid is greater than the element at index mid then we uh, search the element on the in the right uh, right half of the array so we update the uh, low value here to mid plus one and the high value remains the same if it's the other way around then here uh, we are keeping the low value as same and we uh, update the uh, high value as mid minus one so this will uh, go on recursively and it will find the uh, fixed point if it exists if it doesn't exist it will return minus one so the time complexity of the solution is order of log n uh, so uh, as uh, it is for uh, all the divide and conquer algorithms uh, the time complexity for order of log n because uh, uh, in each iteration we are basically uh, dividing the uh, array into an half so the array which we have to process in the next iteration uh, is half of the array in the previous iteration so that's why the time complexity is order of log n so in total we discussed two solutions uh, the method one was a linear search which had the time complexity of order of n and the binary search which had the time complexity of order of log n okay so uh, that's all for this tutorial uh, you can visit this link where you can find all the uh, stuff we discussed in this tutorial and you can also uh, run the code we discussed using the id on the geeks or geeks website thank you very much